makes a meteorologist happier than rain, especially when picture. we need it. Right, yeah. when we need it, when you forecasted it, and it yeah. actually and verifies it. And it actually comes to fruition. <laughs> right. That's when exactly. you can go, nailed it. Right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We've had so many storms that passed us by. Uh, we had a nice initial punch to the uh, El Nino season, yeah. uh, about two days of very heavy rain, and then nothing. Uh, and all the storms keep passing us by to the north. It's just very uh, defeating. But now uh, we're starting to see some rain today, at least in Los Angeles County. All of our weather watchers have chimed in, about 20 at least. You can see some of the currents on the board. Just about everybody, at least through the interior, into the 50s. Some of the mountain communities already in the 40s and even the 30s. But let's check on rain totals here. A couple of folks forgot their point. This is not 39 inches and 37 inches, 0.39. It's almost four tenths of an inch in Granada Hills. Same for Monrovia. Look at Valencia, almost a half an inch so far. San Dimas almost a half an inch. Porter Ranch over four tenths of an inch. Same for Covina, almost four tenths of an inch in Altadena. Simi Valley nearing four tenths of an inch. Almost a quarter of an inch of rain up in the Lake Arrowhead area. Seal Beach at two tenths. Same for Glendora, about a tenth of an inch in Newport. Five one hundredths in Corona. Orange County, uh, you've got some very decent cells offshore right now, and I'm going to show you those when we get to the Doppler here in a second. There's the satellite and radar product on a six hour loop. You can see the swath of moisture moving through the area right now. We'll go into a little more localized view. And uh, you can see how powerful this really is. It's more than just a light sprinkle. And as I was saying, offshore, there's some fairly decent cells. All of this, and this entire system, by the way, moving down to the south and east as the flow goes up to the north and east, if that makes sense to you. But anyway, all of these uh, cells out here offshore are going to be moving into the Orange County area in the next, I'd say, hour or two. In through Anaheim, Orange, Irvine, Lake Forest area. So you're in the bullseye next. Uh, starting to see some fairly decent uh, rainfall up through the Wrightwood area along the two, a mix of rain and snow. Some of the higher elevations. There's Big Bear Lake right there. And the pink is a mix of rain and snow. The white is snow. The darker the blue or purplish color you see there, the heavier the snowfall is. As we back out a little bit, uh, we can see that these uh, offshore cells are just, well, 16 minutes outside of Redondo, 29 minutes outside of Inglewood, about 40 minutes outside of Southgate, and about 40 48 minutes outside of Downey. And again, uh, not just the yellow, but when you start getting into the oranges and reds, those are really deep uh, cells, and they're all due to come in to the coast here shortly. Wind advisories still posted, high surf advisories, winter weather advisories all throughout the day tomorrow, as we'll see this storm really uh, shut itself off by about noon. So mostly cloudy with showers likely tonight. Showers possible during the morning commute, clearing by noon on Thursday with cool temperatures that are going to linger through Friday. There's a the center of circulation for our low as it blows by. Weak high pressure tries to build in, but another storm system is going to blow by to our north, keeping that area of high pressure dampened down just a little bit, and that's what's going to keep us on the mild side, at least normal for this time of the year. We're talking 68, 69 degrees for Thursday and Friday. So still some shower activity tomorrow, but clearing out to partly cloudy skies, 68 to 66 for daytime highs. Still cool on Friday, but high pressure starts taking hold by the time Sunday rolls around. Let's check the IE, the high deserts and mountains. I didn't get to you guys on the last hit, so there you go. Partly cloudy skies, windy up in the mountains tomorrow. And don't forget, if you haven't done it already, turn off your sprinklers. Leave them off for at least five days after the storm. That means after the storm exits out tomorrow at noon, give it five days, you can turn them back on. Jeff, Elsa, back to you guys.